Welcome back. Well, you have the chance to stand up and raise awareness for a common issue in our community, stroke. Here with us today is Dawn Rock from the Health South Corporation and also a former nurse and stroke survivor herself, Wanda Dickens. Thank you so much for being here today. This is a really serious issue, specifically here in our community. That's right. Uh, stroke targets African Americans, mm -hmm. and that's why Health South is thrilled to sponsor this power to end stroke reception. Yeah. It largely is a problem um, killing 130,000 people a year in the United States. Wow, that's a, that's a very large and alarming yeah. number. And I'm sure that we all know someone who um, has suffered from a stroke, but just how big of a problem is it here locally for us? I know that you guys are having this event next week. Well, I don't have the numbers specifically mm -hmm. for Birmingham. I do have the national numbers. Right. But we do know that it's a problem mm -hmm. in Birmingham. It's a problem everywhere. And we want to raise awareness because we know that stroke is largely preventable and treatable. Right. Um, it is treatable if it is, if the symptoms are um, spotted and the person seeks medical treatment within three and a half to four okay. hours of the onset of symptoms. Gotcha. And this event that you guys have coming up next week, can you talk a little bit about it and what's all going to be involved in this event for the community? The Power to End Stroke Reception really does celebrate the ambassadors mm -hmm. who go out in the community and raise awareness. Gotcha. There's uh, lots that can be done to help people to not just um, identify when p people are having a stroke, but know exactly what to do. Um, we like to tell people to we use the acronym FAST, mm -hmm. uh, facial awareness, if there's uh, some facial paralysis, gotcha. arm weakness, uh, slurred speech or speech disability, um, it's time to call 911 right away. Gotcha. So people are going to be able to learn those things to look out for, Absolutely. which are really important. And I know, Wanda, you yourself, you're a stroke survivor. Yes. And uh, so this obviously hits very close to home for you. Yes. Can you talk a little bit about your story, your yes. personal story? My story is uh, 2003, mm -hmm. um, now 13 years as an ambassador for stroke awareness. Um, uh, my stroke was very subtle symptoms. When I woke up early that morning, I had um, some fog memory. Uh, couldn't really remember some things that I needed to remember that was very important. W uh, con proceeded to go on to work, mm -hmm. and then I had a problem with my driving. Uh, driving was, I was having problems and difficulty stirring in, uh, as I drove. Um, then when I got into one of the facilities, that's when uh, I had my stroke. Gotcha. Now, uh, I was ha having um, problems with weight, 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 mm -hmm. uh, weight gain, uh, not taking my medications, and um, just too busy, being busy, taking right. care of everybody except me. So, you know, as a woman, we do that often. Right. Uh, women do have a, a tendency to be so driven to uh, where they're taking the care that, of everybody else. That we forget about ourselves forget a lot about of the time. Yes, Absolutely. Yes. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story. It's a very mm -hmm. important one. And this event we know is May, May 19th at 6 p.m. at the Florentine in Birmingham. We're going to have all this information on our website, WIAT.com. Thank you so much, you guys, for being here. 